Today I want to tell you the story about Felix and Elizabeth Lazare. Their story is remarkable and it's incredible and it really gives us an ideal of what to live up to, especially if in marriage. And it tells us about hope, hope for heaven, and hope for others. Felix and Elizabeth met in 1886. They had both grown up in the faith and they, when they met each other, they quickly fell in love. Two years later, they were engaged. Three months after their engagement, they were married. The start of the married life was very comfortable. They had everything that they needed. Felix was a trained doctor, but he chose to be a journalist. The journal that he wrote for was very atheistic in its standpoint. They were opposed to the faith. And so he wrote and made fun of the faith very regularly. Elizabeth, she soon fell out of her faith. She abandoned her faith. Since Elizabeth had left her faith and found spiritually nothingness, Felix was kind of happy because he was the one who had led her away from her faith. He was the one who had guided her. He gave her books that opposed the faith, gave her books that made her abandon her faith. So now he was extremely comfortable because he had what he, had what he wanted. He had led her away from the faith. This lapse lasted for two years. They were very comfortable. They moved, they traveled, they did whatever they wanted. There was nothing stopping them. You would think that they were completely happy, but Elizabeth was not happy. She felt emptiness. She felt nothingness. In her darkness and in her loneliness, she found light. She found light through God. God came to her and guided her away from that. And eventually she re returned to her faith very happy and very content in her faith. This didn't make Felix very happy because now his wife was now following her faith. So he would make fun of her and he would tease her on a regular basis and chide her about her faith. Her circle of friends who were all agnostic also would make fun of her about her return to her faith. But she still lived out her faith very regularly. She would serve the poor. She would help those who were needed. And she would always pray for her husband's conversion. She knew her goal in marriage was to help her husband return to his faith. So she always prayed for him. Over the years of their marriage, Felix, he didn't make fun of his wife as much. He never returned to the faith, though. And on May 3rd, 1914, she died in his, in his arms. Throughout those last few months, she still continued to pray for her husband, and she wanted him to convert. In the spring of 1914, while he was looking for some of the possessions of Elizabeth's, he found a journal. In the journal, she wrote down some of her joys, some of her sufferings, some of her sadness, and ultimately, she wrote about her desire for the conversion of Felix. The idea of hope is so essential in this. The virtue of hope. Elizabeth hoped for heaven. She hoped for her husband to return to his faith. And he did. He responded to the virtue of hope. Felix read it and he cried. Things changed immediately within him. And very quickly, he realized all he had done wrong, but then he really did realize his desire to return to Christ, his, his desire for God, his hope for eternal life. So he did that. And after her death, Felix actually became a Catholic priest. I want to read a note about that hope, a note that Elizabeth wrote for Felix that tells us how we're called to hope for Felix. October 15th, 1905. This is my beloved husband, the testament of my soul. The adorned father you shall know and love through my prayers in heaven. When you become his child, the disciple of Jesus Christ, and a living member of his church, be a Christian and an apostle. Love souls, pray, suffer, and work for them. We shall one day be eternally reunited. I hope for this through my afflictions, offered for you and through divine mercy your wife forever, Elizabeth. Let us have that kind of hope for our spouses, for our family members. Let us have that eternal hope. Let us pray in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, we pray that we can hope like Elizabeth. We can have hope 
and eternal life. We trust you, Lord, and we want to come closer to you. So we ask for your mother's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.